last time on Disney Dream Life Valley. Oh, uh -huh. it's a very useful spot here, I reckon. Where are you, Mickey? It's a bit uh, in the way, don't you think? Let's go get Remy. Eva, onwards to the Rat Cave. Da -da -da -da. The dining room is filling up, and most of my stuff's out sick, probably because there's a rat in the kitchen. Uno, two, three, cuatro, five in Spanish. Let's make a big house for a little rat. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's such a fine chef around the valley's economy can really get cooking. Are you making puns, Scrooge? We got him in the background, there we go. Beautiful shot, look at that. They're on the floor, Remy. Are you kidding me right now? I can't believe it's your Eva. <laughs> He's like, oh, don't you walk in front of me. No cacophonous sound of uh, orbs and stuff here. We'll get these two missions done, and then we'll go get Moana. How about that? Well done! Now you have money to invest! Ah. And me number 37 rule of personal finance is the most important investment you can make is in your home. I've added an ele- what? <laughs> Just added an ele- what? And I've added an elevator inside your house so it doesn't. Beautiful. Now I've got to move everything, are you kidding me? That sounds like an uh, off, off recording thing to do. As I live and breathe, your house looks like it's worth a fortune now. Really? It's still got the bits of wood on the front of the windows. <laughs> Come by any time, me stock is always changing. I didn't explain it, but that is a terrible jacket. Wait, is that a Wally jacket? Oh my god, is this a Wally jacket? Good day, dear. Wally? Alright, you know, we'll wear it with, with Wally. <laughs> oh my god, I did see how much it was. It was $12,000. Yeah, oh my goodness, I just spent $12,000. Oh my. I, was, I thought it was 1200 and then I saw the extra zero. I was like, oh, really hang on. Um, hang with Mickey. Mm -hmm. What's next? If we build a birdhouse, the birds will have a great place to stay. All right, let's make a birdhouse. All right, now we need to pop down the birdhouse. Let's put it... I have to say we put it... There we go. Tall birdhouse, and I'm taller than it. Gosh, that birdhouse looks so good. I kind of wish I was a bird. <laughs> it sure is exciting to think that everyone's starting to come back. Mm. But there's actually somebody in particular I'm especially waiting for. Huh? My sweetheart, Minnie. I was hoping to find her again when you opened the meadow, but she wasn't there. Maybe if we bring the village back to what it was, she can come back. All right, onwards. We, uh, again, did another Twitter poll. Uh, for the final Twitter poll for the moment. Uh, and that is to get... Moana. But beyond this door, you'll find a sunlit ocean scattered with tropical islands. A charismatic demigod. And a young woman who's become a very skilled voyager. I don't know why I had two different voices there. I just, I messed that up. Let's go. Explore the Moana realm. Whatever it was. Oh, it's Maui. Oh, damn. You yelled him. Tell him, Moana. I actually have no idea what a Moana voice would be. Well, because I don't want to do, I don't want to do Mickey's voice for her either. So it's like, like I'll have to kind of pitch my voice up. Hello, I'm Moana of Matanui. Have we met before? That is not Moana's voice. She's definitely more, a bit more deeper than that. I don't even know. Maybe we'll just do like your voices for girls. I, I can't pitch my voice enough for that. Hello, I'm Moana of Matanui. Have we met before? That just sounds like Mickey. I have to keep my cadence down. I'm searching for some rich fishing spots in the ocean. <gasps> now that my people are voyagers again, we can find more options for fishing. <gasps> hey, if you help me with that, I should have time to help you. I know nothing about canoes. Help me want to fix canoe. We need to find pieces of wood scattered around and then dig around the island for silk. Digging around the island, getting silk and some wood scattered on the shores. Da -na 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 -na. Give those. Thank you, that's for exactly what I needed. We'll be ready to go soon. So good! So Maui, I've decided to do a kind of funny voice though, because I can't do funny voices for Maui. Alright, so Maui, I've decided to give him a really cool voice, so <laughs> sit back and enjoy this. Hey, what took you so long? Yeah, let me guess, you're Moana's <laughs> new helper, right? I assume she's told you about me, me being Maui. Who are you again? Ha <laughs> 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 yeah. funny! Humans are so funny, like you haven't heard of me. You seriously haven't heard of me? Ah, well, that's me. Uh, okay, when you've taken the time to learn about my most legendary heroics, maybe I'll help you. Yeah, okay, the great Maui. Hi, Cade. How's it going with Maui? 
He says he's going to give me a test on him. Huh. Oh, is he? That sounds like him. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry. I'll tell you all about Maui. Maui is shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero to all. Don't forget that part. Oh, and he has a magic fish hook that lets him shapeshift into different animals. Mm. There are a lot of stories about him, but I think he has a ah. favorite. It was the time he planted eel guts and they grew into a coconut uh. tree. I buried an eel and now you got coconuts. <laughs> That's such a good song. I do love you, welcome. It's pretty, pretty big banger. Oh, hey! Let's see how you much you know about my favorite subject. Me! First question, what is my official title? Maui, awesome guy. Shapeshift. Yeah. I wonder which one it is. One of those tests, is it? That's right. Most people forget about that last part. Good job. Okay. The next question. What did I, hero to all, bury to make coconut trees? Eels. <laughs> yeah, I got one. No. Yes, I've got to admit I was kind of surprised when that huh? happened. But why argue with results, right? Particularly when the results are delicious coconuts. <laughs> Let's see if you can get them all right. Uh -huh. Final question. What power do I get from me fish hook? Cape shifting. <laughs> Yes, you, my friend of Ace the Maui Quiz, is a great to meet mm -hmm. a fan. Now, what do you need? Can you help me clear the debris on the beach so I can free Moana's canoe? <laughs> sure, give me that pickaxe I see you've got. I'll make it as strong as me hook. Ah, cool. <laughs> there you go, gift from a demigod. Now go free that canoe. Oh, wait, did he just upgrade my pick? Wait, All right. did he just upgrade it? Onwards to the sea debris. Wow, that's just cool. Alright. What even is that? Did I just break some shark egg? What's going on? Hello. Hello. Okay, the storm debris is gone and my canoe is ready. See that line where the sky meets the sea? It's always cold to me. Let's go find some fish. Heads up, I get seasick. <laughs> I, I was about to say, I hope we actually just go on the boat and you just start fishing. No one, no one wants to talk about something she found. Hello. Now that we're on the ocean, I have something I want you to look at. When I was working on the canoe, I found this stuck between two planks. I don't know how it got there, or even what it is. It looks like a map, but nothing on it is familiar. Will you take a look at it? The strange map turned into this memory. What could it possibly hold? Oh my goodness. Talk to Milano about what the memory was hiding. Hey! I have no idea what you did, but it makes sense now. It shows the different areas of the ocean near this island. The rich fishing spots will be farther out, but look, there's a thick mist blossoming our way. We need to find something to help us cross safely, something to light the way. I'm ready to start sailing. I'm ready to sail. I'm ready to sail. Right. What do you want to do? Let's sail. Looks like a lantern. Haha! <laughs> you found a torch. That's fantastic. It'll help light our way. Let's head back to the edge of the mist. I'll install it on the canoe while we sail. I'm ready to start sailing. Let's sail across the mist. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Into the mist. The torch we found will light up the night and uh, and the ocean. Something is moving in the water. Try and catch it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, at least it's not that. It's not the light spirit. Let's see what we'll get here, right? Eh? Be fun if we get that uh, crab. Oh, good. Show me one of your catch. Have this. It's a cool tuna. You found a fish! That means it'll be a good spot for my people to replenish our stock. If you'd like, I can vis visit your valley with you now. You'll need a place to live. A place that's comfortable. That would be nice. I love my canoe, but it does get a little cramped. We can put it there. We'll put it there for now, and then I can move it later, I guess. Alright, now I need to go... Oh, I have to run all the way there to get it, though. Welcome, Moana. Even Mickey's there in the background. And Wally. How cool is it, Moana? Yeah, look at that power stance. Beautiful. Talk to Moana. So this is it. This is your home. It's so... Strange. Well, it's definitely not like Motunui. A feast worthy of a demigod. I've just got a quest for Maui. Maui seems upset Moana left him. He's still in the Moana world. Wait, so we get Moana and Maui? That's kind of cool. Let me get this straight. Moana left me? She just left to go to some village? It's a dream village. Mm -hmm. 
Great, a new dream village with new dream friends. Oh. And maybe a new dream demigod to teach her to dream sail. Mm. Uh, who cares? I'm hungry. The food in my village is amazing. Worthy of a demigod. I wish I was one that you could say a rat cooks it. <laughs> Be like, oh my goodness. Uh, what can we make? Um, should have bought some stuff from Remy actually. What recipes do I have? All right. What we shall do is move our way onto Remy's kitchen and buy some ingredients. I wonder what sort of special ingredients grow Jam waffles. Here. I could actually probably make jam waffles actually. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. You're so happy that I'm spending money here. Stop it. Okay, first thing I want to look at, jam waffles. Yep, I've got all of that. Alright, um, fruit. Apple jam. Eggums. And milk. Jam waffles. What else can I make, hey? Um, I mean, grilled veggie platter. Three vegetables. I'll do that and we'll see if this makes a hearty salad or a grilled veggie platter. Hearty salad will do. I was going to make a fish soup. I don't, I don't have to, but you know what I'm going to. Oh, Goofy. Time to see Great to see you, pal. I have your order. Jam waffles. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness for that. Ooh. Oh, yuck. I like it. Be better. All right, let's do it. Uh, what was fish soup? It was milk, fish, and vegetable. I really hope. Um, what goes with fish? Yeah, I suppose carrots. Well, he's happy, so it can't be too bad. What can I cook except you're welcome? That doesn't make any sense. Party salad, jam, waffles, and fish soup. Try all that, Maui. Aye, this food is pretty good. So, tell me about this village that's Moana's new... <laughs> that's Moana's new favorite place. I'm supposed to rule the village, but I don't know where to start. I'm fighting against this forgetting. I want some awesome people near me now. A mystical danger, huh? I fought my share of those. Demons, giant crabs, storms, you name it. When you're building a house for a demigod. I don't know why I'm singing in me pirate voice. Yarg, arg, arg, yarg, arg, arg, arg. Oh, oh hello. Yeah, there's, there's ma dark magic emanating from Dazzle Beach. We've got to investigate the curse in the meadow, so be sure to talk about it soon. Thank you. What do you mean? Eric. Kate, you've returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. Why do you sound so surprised? Well... There may have been a certain chance you wouldn't come back, stuck in the realms with the others. <laughs> Forever. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I forget to warn you? No matter, but it was a trifling danger. Nothing to fear. <laughs> you may have noticed the giant pillars scattered about the village. They're beautiful. They've got ah, awesome yes. thorns in it. That may be, but it's time you understand what they are. We'll start with the one in the meadow. Follow me. This pillar is just one of the many scattered around the village. For as long as I can remember, the pillars protected the valley and kept it safe from dark magic. But no longer. I'm afraid the pillars are broken, Cade. And they break. Well, you see, they're no longer whole. A vital piece of each is gone missing. And it's those pieces you'll need to find. Each pillar once contained an orb of virtue. The orbs are filled with powerful magic, and each one stood for a virtue around which the old ruler built the valley. <laughs> Classic. These virtues are some of the most powerful kinds of magic there are. Trust, friendship, power, just name a few. Oh, I like the power one. That's a good one there. Power is one of the virtues, yes. Yes, power can be virtuous if it's wielded wisely, which I'm afraid it really is. I have to find the orbs to get all that magic for myself. Oh dear, I'm afraid that if you're only thinking of yourself, you'll never be able to restore the pillars. Now this pillar held the orb of friendship. One of the most powerful orbs in the valley. You must free the orb from the thorns by proving you have the power of friendship. I'm an awesome friend. Ah! That you are, though a little modesty wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Small acts of kindness go a long way. You know I like giving someone a gift just because you think they'd like it. Spending time together. What do you modern kids call it? Hanging out? So talk to the villagers and get to know them. Most importantly, let them get to know you. Once you understand this, the orb of friendship will be yours. Return it to its rightful place, and the curse of the well will be lifted. Well, uh, run along now. Okay, oh, there you are. I'm conducting a study of the magic in the village. And I could use your assistance. What do you say? Uh, sure. We've got to hang out, Merlin, for this orb thing that you've now just told me that I need to get. Tell me, what do you mo most from magic? Well, look. 
We've got the theme going what? to become more powerful. Yes, yes. What? No. No, no, no. Power is never an end in itself. You must reflect on what you wish to do with magical power. To rule, Merlin. That's the whole point of this. Reach friendship level 5 with 3 villagers. Yeah, so probably Wally because he's already level 4. Hey, Wally! You want to be a friend? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah! Keep playing to one more missions, mate. Uh, let's uh, I have something to give you. What do you like? Rice, tourmaline, and daisy. Are you kidding me? There's nothing I can actually give you. Actually, a daisy. I might have a daisy somewhere. Oops. Wow! I have something to give you. Flower. Level five. You have accomplished a great feat in nurturing your friendships, Kate. The village will be all the better for it. Well, come on, come on, no time to dilly-dally. We must go back to the pillar and recover the orb and lift the curse on Did the meadow. You sure. Oh, that, that's how we get the green thing. That was easy. <laughs> Stupendous, you've succeeded. The well is free of the curse. You know, the old ruler used the wells to travel by magic around the village from well to well. I seem to remember that when the valley fell to the chaos, the sea witch stayed by the beach. Did you just say a sea witch? Sounds like my kind of lady. Oh, we just unlocked fast travel. What are we, four or five videos in? And we've just unlocked fast travel. Beautiful. Look at all those thorns I get to clean. Oh my goodness, what is this? What? Intrigue. Are. Place the peaceful grotto in water. Oh, that must be why I needed... That must be why I needed to unlock the beach. Because this can't be placed in a... Can't be placed in here? Oh, all right. Put it there. So it's like kind of still in the area, but I don't know what you call that. Alright, now I probably should have put it over here so I don't have to walk so far. Oh well. Alright, Scrooge, how much are you going to charge me to put sand in a pile? Make Maui a place fit for a demigod. 5,000 coins. Just going to me money. No, that's a fine quality place for Maui. I'm sure he'll be pleased. He better be. I mean, you know, it's just a cave. But I need right. to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Welcome, Maui. We've got Big Chungus and Big Chungus has joined us. I don't know what that was, Maui, but whatever. We'll take it. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is my farm. As you can see, it is very diverse. And I can tell you're very impressed. And we also have apples here too. It's pretty cool. Now we need to find Moana. Moana means family. Oh, I have to actually run to the See boat. I just want to get a photo with you, Moana. Oh my goodness. Hey, I could use your help. Yeah, that's why I'm here. <clears throat> See, it's damaged, but the frame is good. I'm sure we can repair it, and then we can fish and sail around the island and maybe explore. What can I say except you're welcome for the sun and the seas and the breeze? Probably the wrong lyrics, but I don't care. Alright, I've changed my outfit. Captain Cade's on the case, Moana. He's like, oh my god. Alrighty, we got Moana by the thing. We also got Maui, wherever he went. He's probably down on the beach, honestly. Um, yeah, look at him. He loves his house. Other house. Um, I'm getting distracted. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check the description. We got Twitter, Discord, all that stuff down there. But without further ado, I will see you in the next mission. The next mission, the next unlock when we get uh, the Frozen crew. So, last one, and then we've got the update coming up soon. So, have an awesome one, and I'll see you in the next video.